previously on the Major League Gaming Call of Duty Pro League. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MLG Pro League. I am, of course, Benson. Envious coming into Season 3 Finals with that sixth seed. They had the record of 6-5. and five. The roster, Octane, Aqua, Looney, and JCap. You look at it on paper, it is fantastic. Aqua and Octane added to Team Envious after X Games won a trade for TP and Saints came through. So you put all these components together, I really think you do have a very powerful Envious team. One of the more up and coming teams from season three has been Isolation. The roster of course consisting of Dido, Havoc, Silly, and Llama God. They finished regular season six and five. They were the winner of the Call of Duty season three relegation tournament. So they came into the regular season three with a lot to prove. Super excited to see what we get from Isolation. Oh, oh my God! Talking about Optic Nation, the squad now consisting of Embos, Ricky, Miracles, and Mochilla. Throughout Advanced Warfare, they have vastly underperformed. They, of course, failed to make it to Season 1 and Season 2 Finals. This is going to be their first playoffs that they've attended all year long. Crazy to think about, I know, but I think this is where we're really going to see a turnaround. You don't typically see him leading the way, but there's two to line up for Ricky as well. That's going to be his second three-piece in this game. All complete veterans of Call of Duty. You know this squad has talent. It's just a question of, will they bring it at Season 3 Finals? Talking about Elevate now, this is a squad which a lot of you guys are going to be very, very familiar with. You've got Slack, Classic, TJ, and Saints. They finished 9 and 2 for the season. This squad is fantastic. Nice mix of veterans and youth. And you put that together, and you really can have a very, very powerful Here, squad. Now, and Enable charging out is spotted, tagged up, and Classic. Can he get there in time? Yes, he does. Best young player on this squad, in my honest opinion, it's got to be TJ. Super excited to see what the young gun is going to do at Season 3 Finals. Talking about Phase Clan now, they go 7 and 4 in the regular season. The squad, of course, consisting of Enable, Clayster, Zuma, and Attach. They traded Who Can Slasher for Clayster and Attach from Denial, and that was the turning point. They'd be up to get UMG Dallas and also Gfinity to really gain some momentum. And that big part of the momentum really has been how Clayster and Zuma have been playing together as a duo. Phenomenal. Arguably right now the best assault rifle SMG combo in the game. Play is stuck. Putting down some shots on Aqua. He's oh! able to pick up the kill. The question though, can FaZe continue beating Optic Gaming for the rest of Advanced Warfare? Let's talk about Optic Gaming. This roster consists of Scumpy, Formal, Crimsix, and Karma. It is a powerhouse squad. They played against FaZe in the grand finals of both Gfinity and UMG Dallas, and they have lost. As a whole, this squad is so, so talented. Coming into the Season 3 Finals as reigning Season 1 and Season 2 champions. And you can see Karma not going to be going for the challenge. Weeks is just pre fine <laughs> Karma pulls out the knife. He's going to be running at him. Not going to get the kill. No. Well, maybe no. he gets the kill. Oh, my God! Are you serious? 